Before we set your charge controller to charge, please make sure you contact your battery manufacturer and get the proper charging parameters for your particular batteries. First we need to get to the menu screen. Press the far left button. Press the left or right buttons to move the smaller arrow above to point to charger. Press go. In this screen you will have the option of changing your current limit, absorb voltage, and float voltage. Typically the default current limit is sufficient. Press the down arrow to move the arrow above to absorbing. You may need to enter in your password at this point. Press the minus key to change your password to 141. If your system does not ask for a password, continue on to absorbing. Now press the minus or plus keys to adjust your absorb voltage to your battery manufacturer's recommendation. Press the down key arrow to move the arrow to float. Now press the minus or plus keys to adjust your float voltage to your battery manufacturer's recommendation. Press exit. Now we have some more advanced settings to input. Press the left button to bring you back to the menu screen. Press the right facing arrow to move the above arrow over to advanced. Press go. Press next until you see absorb time limits. Press the minus or plus buttons until you reach your battery manufacturer's suggested time set point. Press next. Here you will see absorb end amps. A good number to put in here is 2% of your total battery bank. So for instance, if you have a 100 amp hour battery bank, you would make this number 2. Press next again and you'll see rebulk voltage. Press the minus or plus keys to change this to your battery manufacturer's suggestion. If your battery manufacturer does not have a suggestion for rebulk, leave this at the default value. Press exit. Your charge controller is now completely set to charge properly.